My name is Azad Al-Barazi again, and thanks for having me. Uh, I was born in Saudi Arabia and then moved to the U.S. when I was six years old. Uh, I started swimming when I was 15. I played other sports like basketball, water polo, and volleyball because my parents were athletes. And I didn't even put a swimming swim uh, cap and goggles on until literally 16 years old, learned how to flip turn and, and be in the water. Um, yeah. Amazing. So how is it different to represent a country like Syria and a flag compared to other countries? Well, with the whole turmoil in Syria right now, the Silver War, it's very tough. Every time I represent Syria, I'm walking on eggshells. I gotta watch out what I say, what I wear, what do I do and what I say. So it's very hard. Every time I go to international meets, it's tough. You know, like, it's not the same as other countries. Other countries have more freedom to do whatever they want. For the example, for the U.S., you see how powerful they are and how camaraderie they are. With me, I'm the only swimmer. It's very, it's very hard to go and swim for under a flag what's going on in Syria. And I know that you do a lot of work to give back and inspire other people. Can you tell me a pro the project you're the most proud of? What you've was, done? Well, what's going on right now in Syria, we had 6.3 million refugees leave Syria because of the Civil War. You know, we had a lot of them in Denmark. Right? Yeah, there's a lot yeah. in Europe, all over. And uh, <laughs> me being an American Syrian, you know, I want to give back and I don't want to go out there and fight in the war. So I want to inspire with swimming and show people that even though you migrated like I am, I migrated here, that you can still do something and represent your country. So I'm working with FINA right now on uh, this refugee project in Serbia. We're building pools and keep, keeping kids in the water. It keeps them, you know, they have a lot of post-traumatic stress and when they're in the water, that PTSD is gone and it's very inspiring. And also in 2014, I went to Greece and helped out for the refugees crossing the Mediterranean. I saw very, a lot of heavy stuff. It's something we can talk about later, but you, you know. Give me goosebumps. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very humbling and I'm very like, you know, every time I, before I was a kid, I was very shy of saying I'm from Syria, but now I'm more proud to be a Syrian American. Amazing. So, you're swimming. What is the next? What is your goal? Like, what is the next big thing, long term and short term? <laughs> well, short term right now, just to kind of get back in shape and feel my stroke. Uh, being one of the biggest breaststrokers in the world, it's very tough. So I'm trying to get lean again and just get back into the routine. That's the biggest thing in consistency. Uh, long term goals: I want to break a minute in the hundred breast and qualify for 2020 even with my third Olympics. Uh, I got a couple meets coming up with the Tier Pro Series and the World Championships in South Korea, and then hopefully I can semi-final or final at that meet. Great, amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me.